All right, I hope my camera can do this justice, but um, I discovered quite by accident a way to uh, pour a pyramid, bismuth pyramid with lots and lots of colors on it. I, I hope my camera can do this justice. But what had happened was I got a small piece of bismuth stuck in my mold and I couldn't get it out. And I naively thought I could put this on the stove upside down like that to melt the bismuth out of there didn't work and um, after I had heated it like this upside down on the stove for about three four minutes I decided maybe I'll just try pouring more bismuth in there to see if it will soak it up and when I got it out I couldn't believe my eyes and um, unfortunately my camera can't really do this justice of course it probably did a lot of damage to the mold but that's okay I've already poured like a hundred of these and uh, it's probably at the end of its useful life anyway. I still couldn't get the little bits of bismuth out of there. The reason I want to get it out of there is I want to try pouring copper with this and I didn't want to contaminate any of the copper. Uh, oh well, I'll probably get another one for the other metals. Uh, this one, this one I made by uh, electrolysis but um, unfortunately it took hours and hours of electrolysis just to add a little bit of color. I don't know if it's because I don't have enough... Uh, I used a 6 volt lantern battery and um, if it were silver it would add a whole lot of color. I've, I've, I've used electrolysis to color silver before. Uh, anyway, uh, maybe uh, 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 I was using a solution of um, sodium bicarbonate. I don't think you can use sodium chloride because bismuth chloride is soluble in water. That would probably just erode your bismuth away. So I use sodium bicarbonate and um, that's a few hours of electrolysis. It mostly just bubbled oxygen out of the bismuth. This one I made in another attempt to get that bismuth out of there. I, I put this on the stove uh, for until it melted I, I had already made a crystal that was kind of shoddy, so I placed it back in the mold and then put it on the stove to melt it down. And you can see uh, it got a lot of the intricate details on it. Oh well, um, it's a great way to uh, add color, get more detail, but it probably does a whole big uh, more damage to the mold. I'm only doing this because this one's probably at the at the tail end of its useful life anyway.